What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Today, I wanted to talk about um, an important test for all of the pre-meds out there. Anyone who wants to go into medicine, they have to take this test. It's called the MCAT, if you haven't heard of it. Medical College Admission Test. Um, the MCAT is a test that is used by different schools to determine how well you will do in medical school. And there's a lot of studies and people uh, conflicting uh, reports on whether the MCAT is predictive of success in the medical school. I don't think it is. But it is a very important test if you want to get into medical school. Um, with that being said, a lot of people ask me about a preparatory course. Should I take a prep course? It costs this much money. Do you think it's worth it? Uh, to answer that question, um, I think you need to, to ask yourself, how do you study best? Whether you study alone um, and you uh, do questions alone and you do all your review alone, or you study be better when people are directing you. Whether you, you need that direction, that, that routine, that, that discipline, that set schedule, um, then a course may be, may be for you. Personally, I would recommend a uh, preparatory course. I would highly recommend a preparatory course. Like I said, this is the most important aspect of your application. And although you may not score as high as other people, there are other parts of your application that can compensate for that. But the MCAT is the most important part of your application. Let's imagine if you had one test or one component of your application that you can improve on by paying a little bit of extra money. If you have the extra money to uh, pay for a course, I would highly recommend it. It's an investment, remember that. And people look at the figure of, oh, it's $2,000 or it's $3,000, it's $4,000. <clears> if you get into medical school and become a doctor, you'll make $4,000 in a day. So it's an investment. It may You may not see that return for a few years, and even you'll see it as you get your um, acceptance, acceptance letter into medical school, but financially you won't see that return for a few years, but just look at it as an investment. So yes, I would suggest a preparatory course. There's Kaplan, there's Princeton, a few other courses. Um, the last time I checked, I believe the course for the classroom was about $3,000, and for to have tutoring, it was about $4,000. So, but it, it just depends on how you study best, whether you need that routine, where you, you need that set schedule to uh, assist you in your studying. Everybody studies differently. I needed that, that, that routine, I needed that discipline, I needed that structure, and the course provided me with that. I actually took Kaplan and Princeton. That's six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, but like I said, it's an investment. Next is the your step one score it's a um, eight hour exam i have another video i'll post a link up here about the uh that you take after your second year of medical school and that's probably the most important test in medicine it determines what type of doctor you can be if you score well in that test you can apply to and get into competitive specialties if you score low it makes it more difficult it's not impossible it just makes it more difficult and for that I would suggest doing preparatory course as well. Like I said, it's an investment. You're competing against people who are very brilliant, very intelligent people. Why not invest a portion into yourself and uh, get a get into a course that provides you with the structure, with this, with review questions, with the um, the teachers and assistants that can assist you and get you to that uh, score that you need to be competitive. So. If you're a pre-med and you're applying to medical school, I do suggest taking a preparatory course. If you are in your second year of medical school about to take your boards, take a preparatory course. Those two tests are the most important tests that you'll take in your medical career. Your MCAT and your step one. This is Dr. Webb. Contact me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, antoniawebmd.com, if you have any more questions. Thank you.